Welcome to Through Eternity Destinations. I'm your host Rob and today we're going to be dealing with Villa Torlonia. We're going to be seeing their main palace with a neoclassical exhibition inside. It used to be the house for the fascist dictator Mussolini until the Second World War. And then we're going to look at the House of the Owl which has some of the most unique stained glass windows. And also see what else belonged to the Torlonia family. Welcome to Villa Torlonia, so beautiful in the morning sun as it rises up on a slope of a hill surrounded by splendid palm trees. The Torlonia family was and is still one of the wealthiest families of Rome and we now get to enjoy their home since it was opened up as a public park by the Italian government. A neoclassical masterpiece preceded by a neo-Egyptian obelisk, as with so many things in this magnificent city, almost everything harkens back to the ancient world. And places like these make the ancient world still seem alive today. No wonder Benito Mussolini made this his residence in Rome for almost 20 years. Today, the villa house is part of an ancient sculpture collection placed in a true neoclassical setting, where we can see people of the past dancing, speaking, laughing, and crying. I feel so fortunate to have come here. Strolling into the ballroom makes me think a bit of Lady Whistledown writing gossip about the Bridgerton family and that we would be observing them as Daphne Bridgerton and the Duke of Hastings waltz around the sala. Wherever you look, from floor to walls to ceiling, you are amazed. Could this have been Mussolini's bedroom? Was this his furniture? Wasn't he the person who said either this bedspread goes or I go? Sorry, that was actually Oscar Wilde talking about some wallpaper, but the sentiment matches, don't you think? Alessandro Torlonia loved his parents so much he erected two obelisks in their memory. After Giovanni became in charge of the family, he created many fantastical things in kind of a fantasy land to be created at his whim, creating magnificent and sometimes odd buildings like the Orangery, the Moorish Grotto Tower, and, of course, the House of the Little Owls. This is where Giovanni Torlonia lived when Mussolini took the main palace. To find stained glass windows in Rome is rare indeed, and here we have some of the best that you can find anywhere. have the Mediterranean sun shine through these colored windows is simply spectacular. Have you ever visited a place or a home and thought to yourself, yeah, I could live here. Well, this is one of those places for me. Sapienza e solitudine, wisdom and solitude, is written under the owls on the front door of what seems almost like a gingerbread house. It's like a living fairy tale with serpents, frogs and owls carved in stone surrounded by tiny towers and secret pathways and mysterious bridges. Now, let's see some of the other amazing properties that belong to the Torlonia family that are not open to the public but hidden from us almost in plain sight. The amazing Villa Albani, Palazzo Torlonia, and now the lost collection brought back to light. A room with the imperial family starting from the very beginning to the end of the empire all in one place. The Villa Albani was where their phenomenal collection of antiquities had been kept hidden in secret for over 50 years due to a disagreement with the Italian state and the collection has finally been made open to the public after five decades. Normally today when one looks at ancient statues they have been returned to their original forms before being restored, as is the trend. That's why so many statues are missing arms, heads, noses, and other appendages. Since these have been preserved and out of sight, they have not been subjected to this trend, and that is why they look so perfect. This is how people wanted to see their ancient statues, when they were from the 1600s all the way to the 1800s, with restorations done by famous sculptors like Algardi and Bernini. He even did restoration work on a goat. The effect is breathtaking.
Thanks for joining us and a special thanks to Through Eternity Tours. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you've enjoyed the video. See you guys later.